Donald here from Global Kid Media. I'm here at The Melting Pot in Troy, Michigan, and this is one of the coolest places I've ever seen. We'll take you on a tour inside in a minute, but I'm really excited about this one. Yeah, all right, we're in The Melting Pot. Introduce yourself to everyone. My name's Christine. I'm one of the managers here. All right, this place is absolutely beautiful. We're gonna go on a tour in a second, but first of all, the thing that catches my eye, the St. Jude Children's Hospital, the signs that you about. Talk to me about the mission that the Melting Pot does with St. Jude's. Absolutely, so um, the St. Jude is the Melting Pot's philanthropy. We work with them all year round, but during the holiday season, um, people typically um, are more giving, and um, that's what we're just trying to do, is give back to the community. Um, we do a dine and donate card. If you donate $10, You'll receive double that to come back starting in the new year. Um, as well as we also have our wheel over here. Um, if you donate $15, then you can spin the wheel and get a little bit of extra more goodies. Um, yeah, so it's just something that we love to do every year. All right, well, I gotta see this place. I'm gonna talk to you about the layout and the beautiful ambiance here. Absolutely, so behind me, behind this wheel is gonna be our party rooms. Um, they are, they can open up between these glass doors to hold a total amount of 60 people, um, or you can do individually. Um, and then we have our main dining room. I do believe this is where you're sitting and enjoying a meal. So we have our main dining room, parties of four or six. Now, can we get into more quiet area? We have our lover's lane. So a little bit of a two-person seating, great for anniversaries, first dates, and then of uh, course we have our bar area, great for those Sunday night footballs, or Sunday afternoons, I should say. Right. <laughs> we have a lot of people coming up to just sit at the bar. Um, when we're booked out, this is where we take our walk-ins. Our bar is full service, so you can enjoy any course, all courses, up here at the bar um, as well. All right, lovely. Well, we gotta go check out that food. Here we go. All right, we're back at the melting pot. Incredible food. I'm loving the layout. Introduce yourself and then tell us about what we got in front of us. All right, well, guys, uh, my name's Tristan. I'm gonna be serving uh, the family tonight. And we got our entree plates here. Um, so basically with these little compartments up here, we're gonna load up these sauces. For our sauces, we got teriyaki. The yellow one's gonna be yogurt curry. It's just a curry sauce with a yogurt base. Um, it's really tasty with the chicken and the vegetables. You guys don't have any chicken but with our vegetables. Um, the ginger plum is going to be like a sweet and sour, a little less sour. The gorgonzola port is going to be uh, like a mild or blue cheese. The chunky red one is going to be angry cocktail. It's just spicy cocktail sauce. Um, it's got a little horseradish in it, so it's got a little kick. And that last one's going to be green goddess. It's going to be a sour cream, cream cheese, and chives mix. It's actually what was in that loaded baked potato that you guys ate earlier, that cheese. Um, and then for us, we got our vegetables here. The vegetables are going to take about four to five minutes to cook. Um, in both cooking styles. Um, if you do the seasoned broth, you can just throw them in there, fish them out with a spoon or use your skewers. Um, with the bourguignon, you can batter them up in that tempura batter and throw panko crumbs on there and deep fry them at the table. And both ways, it'll take about four to five minutes to cook and that should be all. And uh, here you played a little bit of college football. Ah, just a little bit, you know, played my freshman year. Uh, you know, never worked out, but you know, I'm a teacher now, loving what I do. You know, teaching kids, I like to play football and play ground with them every day. There we go, I love it. Have you ever gone to a restaurant and wanted to kind of make your own food? You get to do that here. You see the process of putting in the batter, boiling water or the oil to deep fry it, and then enjoy it with all the great sauces that you have. You're always welcome here at the Melty Pot. It's been a great experience start to finish. And it's time to finish strong with a little surprise. Here we go. Chocolate. <laughs> She's waiting for her dessert. <laughs> we will not leave here hungry, I promise. <laughs> we got a lot of food left. I promise already <laughs> um, And then, yeah, so if you guys are good to all good to dig in whenever you're ready, um, 
Melting Pot. Introduce yourself to everyone. Hi, I'm Rachel Orlando. I'm the assistant GM here at the Melting Pot in Troy. Well, I want to say this has been an incredible experience just Thank from walking you. in to the finish, all the unique things you do. I got to know what your favorite part of working here is. Uh, my favorite, honestly, my favorite part of working here is going to my tables, checking on my guests and feeding off their energy of birthdays, anniversaries, what are they here to celebrate? And it puts me in a better mood to really kind of drive it home for them, really give them an experience that they've never had anywhere else because this is the place to do it at. This staff is like a family and they're all very, very kind, great people. Can you talk about what emphasis you put on just being good people and being welcoming to guests? Sure. The um, culture. Yeah, we, we hire a lot on natural hospitality. Um, we can teach you everything else. The food speaks for itself. We can teach you how to be hospitable to people and, and serve them the way that they would want to be served for an experience and make it that special. Um, all of our staff is very, very close. They have to work together in a tight-knit team. They have to bounce off each other. It's a very big place and there's a lot to do with all the four courses. Um, that being said, you're constantly depending on someone else to help you out. And all of my staff at any time would stop at your table if you needed anything. And if you needed anything, they would go get it themselves or let the server know or let a manager know and we would go take care of it for you. They have to bounce off each other to be able to get it done. Well, I absolutely love that. This has been a really, really special experience for me. So I thank you for that. And one special segment I do is I flip the switch. I'm the first time talking to you. Ask me a question. You sure. want to do it? Yeah, I would love to. Um, what is your favorite part of, of going to different restaurants? Yeah, I think my favorite part is seeing kind of the culture that East Restaurant has, which may sound weird to some people, but it really is like that. You yeah. get a different experience, a different ambiance, and a different feel from every restaurant, from the food to the, to the staff, to yeah. the ambiance, the layout, the decorations. So places like this just make, make my whole journey. Excellent. I love hearing from it. And I look forward to looking at more of your stuff, too. Absolutely. And I absolutely love what they have here with the St. Jude's cause and these bracelets that are really, really cool. Please come check out the Melting Pot in Troy, Michigan and support something bigger than just great food.